Hi, I'm John Refrano for Boris TV and welcome to the Boris Continuum Complete for Vegas Pro Training Series. In this episode, we're going to take a look at BCC Color Match. If any of you have done multi-camera shoots where you need to match camera colors, or you've done a single camera shoot where the lighting conditions changed, and therefore your white balance change, you need to match cameras uh, again, you're going to love BCC Camera Match because it's going to save you hours and hours of time. And actually, you know, I came upon this quite by accident. Uh, what I have in front of me is some footage from a shoot that I did for a friend. Uh, this wasn't a paying gig, um, but this was a, uh, a Chinese New Year celebration for the Shaolin Kung Fu Guan that my son studied at. And they asked me to do the shoot. And what we noticed was there was a balcony in the room that we were shooting. Uh, and so someone said, hey, you have another camera to throw up in the balcony. Um, so here is that second camera that I put in the balcony. And actually, this is just my little uh, Sony CX-12. Uh, that I threw up there, it's just a little HD camera, but it gives a nice second perspective, right, of the kids uh, doing their moves. And then down on the main floor, I had my uh, Sony Z1 HD V camera. So I've got a combination of HDV and ABC HD here. And you'll notice as I switch back and forth between the cameras, the color balance is a little bit different. Uh, and so I spent quite a amount of time trying to get these to match. And then I remembered that uh, Boris had the color match plug-in and so I thought let me try that and I was just blown away by what this little plug-in can do. So the first thing you need to do is understand which camera do you like, which camera do you want to change. Um, in this case I think this is a little bit too warm. I'd like to have both of them uh, look like the first camera so I'm going to change this second camera. So I will just mute the first track and I'm going to take BCC color match and drop it on my second camera track here. Actually I'm dropping it on the event. Uh, and that will bring up the BCC color match. Now, one thing you'll notice at the top here, and a lot of Boris effects have these, is the compare. I have various compare modes where I can compare before and after. Uh, so it's normally turned off. I can compare side by side. Uh, as I'm working with this, it'll give me a side by side shot of what's happening. Um, I can compare when, where you'll have a, a wipe slider, or I can compare with what's below it. But there's nothing there's nothing below because that's the bottom track, so this would be more helpful on a top track. So let me just shift these tracks for a second so you can see. Compare with below, I'll drop this track down below and unmute it. Uh, in that case, you can do a side-by-side -side with the track below. I'm going to show you a different way to, uh, to do this, but we are going to use the compare once we start making changes. Uh, the next you have the quality. It could be faster or smoother. Um, you can work in faster mode while you're editing and then change to smoother mode before you render. And then you've got this view here. Now, let me show you the controls before I show you the view, because then it's going to make more sense. We've got controls. Uh, there are some master controls. We've got a highlight for the source and target. We've got midtones for the source and target. And we've got shadows for the source and target. So same controls for highlights, midtones, and shadows. And then up here in this view, we've got the normal view, but then we've got a highlight view. And what the highlight view does when we turn it on, and let me mute this top track so you can see, it's giving me a mask. So everything that's the whitest white is the highlight and everything is the blackest black is not highlight. So this gives me a highlight view. If I switch it to midtone, it shows me where my midtones are, right? So I can see that I've got the lighter ones are better midtones, the darker ones are not. Uh, and then it could show me the shadows, which almost looks like an inverse because uh, the darks would then be the white part of the mat. Uh, the, and, and the uh, lighter parts would be uh, darker. And then there's this last view, which I really like. Uh, HMS Colorize, which shows you all three at once. So now it's showing me that I've got highlights up here in red. These greens in here are kind of my midtones. And then as I get to the dark, dark blues, those are the uh, darker areas. So it gives you an idea of where to take your samples from, which I think is really, really helpful. So now that we have this, let me turn it back to normal. And I'm going to go down and decide which is my source and which is my target. When you're working with BCC Color Match, the source is always the clip that you drop the color match on, right? Your source is the clip that you're working from. The target is the clip that you want it to look like. So this top track is going to be my target. Also because as I, try, as I start uh, opening these up and using these color droppers, this preview is going to change color. I'm going to turn off BCC Color Match so that I don't affect the color while I'm trying to select them. So let me open these two up. Uh, and first I'll start with my target. I'm going to go down. I'll unmute my target and we're looking for areas that we can sample white from. So I see that I've got the white chair over here and I've got the same white chair over here so I can tell uh, color match that these two are the same. So I'm going to highlight 
this white as the target. I just take my color picker and choose that there. And then I'm going to go up and mute this and take my color picker and highlight the same area as the target. Now if I turn on color match you can see uh, very subtly it is changing these colors. So that was for my highlight area. Now I'm going to go to my midtone. I'm going to open up the midtone source and target. Uh, and we'll go to the, uh, I'll go to the target first here and find my midtone. I think uh, these areas in here uh, are probably good, the browns are probably a good midtone. So I'm going to pick one of the browns because I really want the floor to match uh, between the two because that's the thing that's going to be the most noticeable. And then I'll mute this track and I'll take the eyedropper and I'll pick an area of the floor that I want it to match. And you can see the different colors uh, that it's picking between these, right? Different colors here. Um, one being a little bit cooler than the other, more in the blue. Finally, go down to my shadow source and shadow target uh, and do the same thing. I'll go off and pick my target for the shadows. Now, I'll probably just pick, they're, they're conveniently wearing black. So I'm just going to pick the leg over here that's black. And then I'll go up on the other, let me mute this, get to the other one. Take the color picker, pick the same person with the same leg, and there we go. Now I'm going to turn on BCC Color Match, and we're going to see what it has done. If you look, now it, you can really, let me turn, go back and forth, and you can watch this. I've gone from that warmer look to a little bit cooler look. Uh, now one of the things I can do is go back to my comparer, and I'm going to compare these side by side. So now you can see side by side the difference. I can compare them with this slider, and so here's a horizontal slider, which I can compare. So on the left, I've got that warmer, richer tone, and I've got this cooler tone here on the right, which is uh, being affected. And if I even wanted to take this top track and drop it down one, for the sake of looking at compare with below, uh, we'll say compare with below, and now you'll see, look at how nice those colors really start to match, right? We're really getting kind of the same uh, colors there. So let me turn this off, bring my track back up, and now I'll pop these on and off. So you can see now as I'm walking through this and playing through it and then switching cameras, it's not as jarring as it was before. You can see that that is really, really compared pretty nicely. Okay, So that's one in which we have two cameras that we've got to match up. And the easiest thing to do is to just pick those values from each. Now let me tell you a little bit about what the rest of these controls do. There's a master level control here where you can actually have it affect uh, even more, right? It defaults to 50, but you can have the color be affected more or less, and you can have the um, luminance level be affected more or less. And then underneath each of these uh, targets here, so we've got the highlight, midtones, and the uh, shadows, you'll notice that there is a highlight level and a highlight color. They're set to 100 by default. As you bring them down, they will affect less and less until zero does no effect at all. So you can adjust the level at which the highlights are affected, the level at which the midtones are affected, the level at which the shadows are affected. And then this highlight bias. There's a bias between the highlight and the midtone, and there's another bias between the midtone and the shadow. And that kind of sets that cutoff point. And just to show you, um, I'm going to turn on the uh, view to colorize. So now you've got this colorized view. And now I'm going to go play with this bias here. So here's the highlight midtone bias. See that changing? So it's changing where the cutoff points are between highlights and midtones. So you've got a lot of control uh, that you can use to control these. Okay, now let's look at another example. Um, I've got one here. Uh, and I have to thank uh, my good friend, Roger Bansimer, uh, who's allowing me to use his footage. Uh, Roger has a uh, new PBS show called Painting and Travel with Roger and Sarah Bansimer. Uh, and I'm the finishing editor on the show, and Roger has allowed me to use his footage uh, to show what happens when you're doing a shoot on location where the lighting changes. So you're out there doing a shoot, and then the lighting changes on you. Uh, so let's uh, find the spot. So what Roger has here, you know, he's got a camera set up. Paint a thicker paint. Right, he's doing this I demo. Too thick to begin with, and it's hard to put. And he's cutting back and forth between, you know, himself explaining and then watching the painting. Uh, and this particular day, we got to a point, you can see right here, this is the same camera, 
right? This is one shot of that camera, another shot of that camera, where, you know, here's where the sun is out. As you can see, there's a lot more contrast up here. And in this one, the clouds came overhead. Uh, and so you can see this is, uh, this is a lot more blue. So even though this is the same camera, we still have to match them. And let me show you how you can use BCC Color Match for that. What I like to do in this case is use a marker to see where I am. So I'm going to place a marker here and I'm going to call it target. And then I'll place a marker here and I'll call this source. And so now when I come back and forth between these two shots that I'm trying to line up, you know, I come back to the same place because I can just click on the marker. We'll go into my plugin manager. I'm going to drop in BCC color match on the source. That's the one I want to change. I want to make this one where the sun went in look like or as close to the shot where the sun is out as possible. Uh, and let's go in here and immediately start setting up our highlight mids and source. Now in looking at this, and again we can use the view to help us out here. Let's go over to the source. Um, you can see that you know the whites along here in the palette are kind of the highest colors. Even the sky is, is a little bit high. The mids are kind of the grass in here, and then there are some shadows back in here. So I think those are the three points. I think I'm going to take this white along the edge, some of the grass, because I want the grass to match, uh, and then some of the shadows. And, and let me show you what it looks like before uh, we start, right? So I've got this shot, then I cut to this shot, and it really, it's jarring. It's really jarring. It's, it's so different. Uh, so let's go work on this one. I'll start with my highlight source and target and once again I'm going to turn off BCC color match while I do this because as I pick these uh, they're going to change. So let's go to the highlight source and uh, we'll go to the source and pick the color dropper and say I want the white on here. You can see it's a very blue uh, tint on that white and I want to come over and highlight the source now. Take the other color picker and get that there, right, which is a much warmer color. Then we'll do the same thing for the midtone. As long as I'm on the target, I'll pick the target first. We'll go in here and I want to get some of the green, uh, some of the lighter greens in here. That looks like it might be a good one. Uh, go over to the source, do the same thing. Pick one of the lighter greens to get those to match. You can see the difference in green between those. And then I'll go over to my shadow and since my source clip is now the one that's selected, I'll click the source first and I want to go right in here to this darker shadow and then open it up and slip over to the target clip and do the same thing. Take the color picker and go over and get that shadow. And you can see the differences in, in color. Okay, now let's select the source and I'm going to turn on BCC Color Match. We'll see the difference. It's kind of subtle, but you can see these greens are greener, and as I jump back and forth between these, there's not as much um, a jar there in these greens. So we've got some luminance differences, and one of the things you can do, and let's go over to the source here, um, is we can pump up the master level. So the master level is how much this is overall affected, and we can pump that up a bit, uh, the colors and whatnot, and see if we can get that to match even more. Uh, and then finally, what I like to do is I'm going to go back to my plugin manager and I'm going to take BCC levels gamma and drop that on my source. Then I'm going to come over to my target and up here in Vegas I'm going to click on copy snapshot to clipboard. All right, so now I've got that scene on my clipboard. Now I can go back over to the source and over in this control is my split screen view. So I'm going to make sure my split screen view is selected to clipboard. Uh, perhaps we'll select the left half uh, and then I'm going to enable it. So now the right half is the source that I'm on and when I enable this the left half is the target and you can see the line between them. So now what I want to do is get rid of this line between them and one of the reasons I've got the waveform monitor open is that I can see the line right here. I can see what's going on visually. So I'll come over to the BCC levels gamma and I'll take my white input and I'm holding down my control key because I want very fine detail movement here and I'm just going to back this down a little and I want you to watch here and watch this line over here uh, as I line them up you see that coming up and as that comes up as that matches this line goes away right 
So now, this is actually a composite, you know, one half and the other, of the source and the target. And I may, and if I want to stretch these blacks down a little, I'll bring this black in a bit, and you'll watch the blacks stretch back down. So I'm trying to match these in here so I get about the same uh, luminance. And then we'll go, let me turn this off, and now we're going to go back and forth between these two. And that's not too bad. That is way better than what we had before uh, with the color picker off. Look at, look at the difference. There's really green here, and it's almost a blue-green uh, as it was originally. And so now let's watch this and see um, if it looks fairly well. Uh, it's hard to put uh, thick colors over paint that's kind of wet. I don't know what this big shape is. That's pretty darn good. I'll tell you, that really uh, didn't jar me at all, right? Going from this one and then watching Roger and then coming back into this one, they looked pretty close. So there you have it. Uh, that's BCC Color Match. If you need more information, drop by BorisEffects.com. This is John Rafrano for Boris TV. Until next time, thanks for watching.